Hold! Hold! Weapons down! Are you bloody mad? We nearly... Never mind. Get up here. I want that gate closed when the goblins arrive. Watching God, but you're a prettier sight than any I expected to see today. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp, and our hopes along with you. What happened? We've spotted goblins massing in the woods. A drow. Right. I'd say I'm surprised, but Bashaba's had her mark on us since Elturel. No two ways about it now. A fight it'll have to be. You helped us throw them back once before. Fancy doing it again? <laughs> Enough warriors to make this a fair fight. Well, failing that, we've got the means to make it unfair. That's why our every ounce of anything that goes boom is buried out in front of that gate. Once we're ready, we'll draw them into that spot. And then it's down to fire arrows and prayer. You said it's a drow in charge, yes? Well, they aren't stupid, so I hear. But they are proud. That horn can be heard half the world away. Let's issue a challenge, shall we? She's expecting to find us broken. Let's show her just what a mistake she's made. If I don't see you after the battle, tell the children I took out the drow. Get that damn gate closed! This is it, people! Weapons ready! Eyes to the front! Anyone who takes down a walk gets their choice of cut tonight. By a monitor's eternal son, none of us are dying today. A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. way into your mind the way is clear now we can cleanse this place completely kill everyone up to no failure a glorious day the absolute will be pleased but there is more to be done this place is home to druids root them out and kill them i'm not even sure if they drink Seems like a good moment to talk. 
You'd think Devil Spawn would put up a better fight, wouldn't you? It's like they didn't even want to live. You see what I did? The Absolute's gonna recognize me. Make me a true soul, I tell ya. You should have raided another tavern. Ever wondered what devil flesh tastes like? My bet's on stench cow. Gars during the... Ah! I ain't seen much good loot! Praise the Absolute. She will reward us well for this exquisite carnage. The true honor is to serve the Absolute. She loves you fiercely. I see that in the strength she has given you. And she has so much more to give. There is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are. What you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat, hands bound. Ecstasy or terror. Maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the Walker's celebrations have already begun but you are intercepted before you can join the party. <laughs> As I feared, there is no place in your company for a hero. I want no part of this, nor of you. I didn't escape the hells to lose my soul to another evil. I, I can't be part of this anymore. The goblins praise the Absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders, Minthara and you. You fought well, and so did these creatures, thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential your power good you have grown your power and improved your chances of survival don't lift a finger boss i'm keeping guard you go have a drink i got it all red here Red for our love of the absolute! <laughs> What's up for discussion? Let the absolute hear your prayers. Let the blood of her enemies flow over you. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Certainly. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Glory to the absolute! With haste. 
Something good here. I hope. Thy wheel of dost thou require a new As she looks you up and down, her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. Are you ready to give yourself to me? If you already have doubts, you would only have disappointed me. Get out of my sight! Already regretting your decision? I hope you're ready to beg for my company. What a glorious celebration. Hip deep in gore. The goblins stole good wine. It goes straight to the head. What's wrong with enjoying a gift from our guests? Maybe if I down enough of this swill, it'll pickle the worm in my skull. We set a pack of refugees on fire. A child could have done it. Not exactly an ambush for the ages. Maybe. But I know better than to share my bed drunk. Unless you meant to raise my spirits by other means. I prefer to keep a few things secret. It's old habit. Thank you. The offer's kind, but it's not a kindness I can afford. You smoked them all out like it was nothing, true soul. Imagine what a disciple could do. Well, hello. Welcome to my humble party. What's your poison? Red? White? I'll give you red. So, what are we drinking to? Other than a pile of corpses. To victory. Mmm. Delicious. So, what happens next? Nothing. <laughs> How can you be so cruel? Come on. There's a spark here. I know you felt it too, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mistook you for someone with taste. But have it your way. I'm happy to entertain myself. These creatures are loud. Ugly. I hope they aren't your friends. So, I'm just saying, be careful. True soul, sir. A present straight from the battlefield. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Had to cut off the stiff's fingers to get it. Though it is scuffed and smeared with blood, you realize the loot belonged to Althera, the tiefling bard. Th -th Thank you, true soul. This is the worst moment, when the screams of the dying have faded, and the conquering hordes howl and yelp as they come to their vile climax. Massacre. A spectacle of slaughter. And I... participated. What are these bloody stumps that used to be such delicate harpists of the weave? No. Two shadows are darkening my soul. The shadow within, and the shadow without. You. 
You led me down this path. It's time to stop making excuses. I don't know myself anymore. All this, it's not who I am. Around you, I'm not who I want to be. I should leave. Yes. Yes, I suppose we do. Few things are more powerful than the will to live. A carnage such as this. The shadow within is spreading like poison, corrupting kindness and compassion. I thought the orb to be the greatest of my sins. But I see now there are darker depths to which I might yet sink. You may be content to sink into that abyss, but I assure you, I am not. Oh, so clear, sir. Some stinking bird flew by some time ago, but I got it straight through the neck. Any of those druids is still alive. They'll know not to mess with us. Never thought I'd be fooling when I drowned my own free will. I didn't come out of the battle alive. Ha. The absolute smiles on you. On all of us. Never seen a true soul in action before. I'd follow you to the hells and back. Once we're rested, we should carve our way right to Baldur's Gate. Whole world needs to know what we did here. Soon as the Absolute gives the command, we'll burn everything to the ground. No one can stop us anymore. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. A glorious reward for a glorious battle. Go on, have your fun. And do not wipe away a single bead of sweat. It's intoxicating. Already regretting your decision? I hope you're ready to beg for my company. Good. I will join you when you go to your bed. You are mine. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You are here. Good. Come with me. Now, lie down. Neither. It is an instruction. Now, silence. Lie down. You learn fast. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. Tell me what you want. And you shall have me. A 
As your bodies lock together, so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear. She flinches as layers of her psyche peel back. Revealing the scars of a life spent anticipating a knife in the back. The memories of countless dead slain too soon. Not just enemies, but family, friends, lovers. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. No. I want the truth. I want to hear it in your voice, not in my mind. <laughs> As did I. During the battle, my mind raced, my blood burned. I was righteous. But tonight, I only heard your breath and your voice. The absolute was silent. And strange to say, that brought me comfort. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is afraid. You are right. But I cannot deny what my heart tells me. So much that has happened since I left the Underdark is like a dream of somebody else's life. I... I do not know myself anymore. Except tonight. Tonight I wanted this. For myself. I must pray, and you must rest. Tomorrow, we will have fresh orders. In your dream, you stand over yourself as you sleep. A knife in your hand. Murder in your heart. You are ready to strike, to end your own life. But then a shock runs through your mind. This is no dream. Wake up, true soul. We must talk. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you. And I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me, and she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate, to determine if you are worthy, if you are, I am to send you into her embrace, at the seat of her power. In time, I believe we may be together. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. I do not know, but I do know 
that she allowed me to spare you. When you meet her at moonrise, she will show you her design and your part in it. She will test you. If you fail, you will break. If your faith is strong, you will become something even more beautiful. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity, but I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. He was a drow once. Now he is an abomination, a victim of Lolth's cruelty. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the shadow curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <laughs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions. You're that true soul that's been chumming around with Minthara, aren't ya? Didn't expect to see you grubbing around here in the muck and the leftovers. On their way to Moonrise with her ladyship. They left me here to make sure we ain't left nothing valuable behind. There is lots, but I've got scavengers' rights, so it's all mine. <laughs> Unless you're willing to trade for it. 